my name is Adam and I am on the Papercut support team here in Portland, Oregon. Today I'll be going over how to set new user creation rules so that your new users can receive the correct settings when added to Papercut. When a new user is added to Papercut, they're automatically assigned initial settings such as starting credit, privilege level, and other settings based on their group membership. So without further ado, let's take a look. To start, let's head to the admin console. Since new user creation rules are applied per group membership when the user is imported, we'll go to the Groups tab next. Here you can see groups I have added to Papercut via my directory source. One thing to note about group membership is that technically every single user belongs to a group, even if you do not have groups structured in your environment and added to the Papercut system. This is the built-in all users group at the top of the list. You already see some new user creation rules in the list here when you initially set up Papercut for initial credit and whether the new user will be set as restricted. Let's click on the staff group though and we'll set some rules for new staff members that are added to Papercut. Now that we see the group details, let's look down here at the aptly named new user settings section. First step is to confirm that we do indeed want users that belong to the staff group to define their new user settings when added to Papercut. And here are those settings. We can set an initial credit, let's say $20. We can set whether the members of the staff group are initially restricted and how much overdraft they're allowed if their balance reaches zero. Let's disable the restricted status for this group. You'll see that the overdraft option goes away since the user will be able to print to the negative balance as unrestricted. And finally, let's set an initial account selection to the standard account selection pop-up. Now lastly, the advanced option will allow you to overwrite printer and device settings. We'll leave it unchecked when we apply the changes, but you can see some more interesting options here, such as bypassing release stations and cost multipliers. These can be great options, but they definitely require a good amount of planning. Right, so the last thing to do here is to hit OK, and there you have it. Next time a user is added to the system and they belong to the staff group, they'll inherit the new user creation rules we just created. Now I also wanted to go over a couple more high level principles here. First, the new user creation rules only apply to users that are created after the rules are set or created. In order to change the settings for existing users that were in the Papercut system before we just set these rules, let's say staff members that have already been added to the system, you'll need to do it via the bulk user operations or individually on each of the user details pages. Now second, initial settings can become confusing when a user belongs to more than one group. Papercut NGNMF uses the following logic to allocate initial settings. The user obtains a starting credit that is the sum of all of the matching groups. And keep in mind that the special or built-in all users group is ignored in this context. If any of the matching groups has unrestricted status, the user inherits unrestricted status. If any of the matching groups has account selection pop-up settings, the user inherits the on settings. If the user does not belong to any group with new user settings defined, they inherit the settings applied to the special all users group. And the initial settings are applied from each group in alphabetical order. So for settings that cannot be merged, such as charged to single shared account, the last group alphabetically takes precedence. And that's new user creation rules. You can find a link to the new user creation rules manual page in the video description. And as always, head over to support.papercut.com to get in touch with us here on the Papercut support team if you run into any issues. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.